Hello Gemini, welcome to another 411 love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to jump right into it. We're going to start looking at what is going on with your connection. Uh, this will be a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection with someone or have someone in mind. So let's see what we have for you, Gemini. Welcome if you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me. For watching the videos for commenting i really appreciate it so what do you have for gemini in love we have for gemini so what is going on what are the mutual energies between gemini and this other person what's going on in this connection spirit religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path for me as a reader, this card is more about like divine timing, spirit being involved in some way. It could be that, you know, religion plays a role, but I see it more as spiritual intervention. What else do you have for Gemini regarding this connection? What's going on in this connection at this time? Okay, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So again, another card that's more like spirit is involved in some way in the sense of like maybe they are speaking to one of you or speaking to your intuition or um, guiding this connection in some way bottom of the deck i have past life relationship you have known each other before interesting so let's get some clarity on this what can you tell me about this connection between Gemini and this other person? I do reversals on this channel and I, my deck is completely like mixed up, you know, here. So just because you see me flip it over a couple of times doesn't mean that I'm messing with the deck. The deck's already been messed with, if that makes sense. Um, we love reversals on this channel, so if you're not a reversal lover, then you might not want to watch my videos. All right, let's see, Gemini. Keep in mind also, this is a general reading, Gemini. It will not resonate with everyone 100%. It might just resonate with three people, <laughs> and that's okay. It just means that did it resonate this time around, or you could just take what resonates and check out my other videos for Gemini. All right, what else can you tell me about what's going on here? We got the chariot, cancer energy. Moving forward, movement, success, bravely moving forward. What else do you have for this connection? Give me some, some clarity spirit on this. Queen of Wands reverse. What else do you have for me regarding this connection? Five of coin reverse. Okay. So bottom of the deck, I have the fool. Uh, this is Aries kind of energy. Um, but it, this is a card all about taking a risk, a leap of faith, going on a new journey, kind of letting all of your baggage down and traveling light. <laughs> That's what the fool is about. Um, I feel like this is some sort of movement towards a new direction. Your connection, this existing connection is going through some sort of, it's progressing towards something new, which is kind of strange because I have past life relationship. So, who knows what that's all about. We'll see when we clarify. But with the chariot, this is all about movement and taking action. Um, this is all about choosing a direction, going for it. Um, then I have the Queen of Wands reverse, which not the best person to be dealing with. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Um, this is someone who can be a bit impulsive, um, makes decisions that are a little rash, doesn't really think about the consequences of their actions and it kind of gets them into trouble this is also someone with a short temper or someone that lashes out is unhappy or frustrated 
and kind of takes it out on people. So I feel like there's either someone, one of, one of you in this connection has been impulsive or one of you are dealing with someone like this, a Queen of Wands reverse. With the Five of Coin reverse, this is all about recovering something where it's been difficult. So it could be like financial recovery. It could be a recovery between like some sort of distance. Maybe one of you shut the other person out and now there's almost like a reconciliation um, someone's coming back in out of the cold. There's no longer emotional distance. There's no longer a struggle in this connection. So we'll see because I have another deck that I want to use to clarify. We'll see what we get here for Gemini. Let me clarify these energies for Gemini, please. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in this connection, what's challenging the connection or what you need to know. And then we'll look at the potential outcome of the connection. So we're gonna get some detail here on what's going on. And like I said earlier, you'll know pretty soon if this is your reading or not. All right, so let's see, for Gemini, tell me about the chariot, what's this about? Oh, that came out quick. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about moving forward Maybe communicating about an offer, maybe an invitation, coming to see you, you coming to see someone else. Because this is, remember, mutual energies. So this is either of you here. Can I get one more for the chariot, please? Judgment reverse. Interesting. I feel like something happened in the past. Yeah, I have the Five of Swords. Something happened, either um, an argument or some. Yeah, Ten of Swords right after that. Something happened between you and this person already. And I feel like this is someone coming in again. Or someone coming in that's new with the Fool. But this person possibly, you know, in the past, whatever happened, maybe their judgment was blocked. Maybe they didn't make the best decisions. Maybe their own actions led to some sort of ending. This could also be a delayed rebirth or a delayed uh, second chance, something that maybe is still needing to develop here. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands reverse? I feel like someone's attached to this Queen of Wands reverse. Hopefully I'm wrong about that. Or this person's like, has some sort of hold. Yeah, there's like someone else here, Two of Pentacles reverse. Can we get one more for this Queen of Wands reverse? There's too many. Can I get one more, please, for this Queen of Wands reverse? Knight of Swords. Again with the movement. You know what I'm getting? It's like someone's running away from this Queen of Wands reverse, Six of Pentacles reverse, and the Four of Wands. Something is not balanced. Someone's not able to give you something, Gemini, or vice versa, because of something happening in the home. I feel like this Queen of Wands reverses. Yeah, someone wants to leave this. Remember what I said? Someone wants to run away from this Queen of Wands reverse. There's a Six of Swords. It's like she's in the home. It does not have to be a female. It could be a feminine energy. But someone, I feel, is like they want to give up one thing for another, make a switch. And so with this Knight of Swords, is like running, you know, towards the past almost, it looks like. Tell me about this. Okay. There you are, Gemini. Lover's energy with the King of Cups. <laughs> okay. So tell me more about this Five of Coin reverse. There's love here. Someone is sweet on you. Yeah, there's the uh, cherry again. I feel like this is someone that's trying to recover what's been lost with you, Gemini. 
They're trying to move forward here with you. Maybe coming to see you. Tell me more about this five of coin reverse. Yeah, this is a new beginning with you. Look at this. I mean, look at this. The lovers, the chariot, the world. I mean, come on. Interesting. So let's see. How do you feel about each other? What's going on here? Tell me more about these two. Let's start with you, Gemini. How is Gemini thinking or feeling about this person? I didn't even get to finish. Eight of Cups. I'm going to have you on this side over here. Tell me about Gemini. What are Gemini's thoughts or feelings? What are their energies at this time towards this person or this connection? Hermit. Virgo energy here. Um, I feel like you've been thinking about some sort of departure. Trying to seek answers. Maybe this person left in the past or maybe you're wondering if they're going to leave. Maybe you're wondering if they're going to leave a commitment. Or maybe they left your commitment with the higher farm at the bottom here. Tell me about Gemini's person. What are their energies at this time? Towards Gemini or this connection? Page of coin. I'm telling you. Whole different deck. This person is the one that's bringing this page of coin to you. This is a serious offer. Well, at least it's a very small offer that has potential for something more. Tell me more about this person. Okay, Gemini is dealing with. What do we need to know? Judgment reverse. That's your per Are you freaking kidding me? The same exact cards. I don't believe in coincidences. The same exact cards, the same reversal, different deck completely. This is the message, okay? This is why I do reversals and uprights. This is why I do readings my way. <laughs> because I trust spirit and it they don't lead me astray, you know? Confirmation for me, right? that this is the message. This is someone I feel who screwed up in the past or has thought about what they've done in the past that has led to something that was painful, difficult. Um, yeah, there was a loss for this person because of their judgment or their bad judgment because they didn't make the right choices in the past. There's the two of cups just fell out. Okay. Tell me about this page of coin over here. Yeah, this, I feel like this is something where, with the four of us, yeah, I was just going to say, this is somebody that I feel has realized that you are the one they want. You are their happily ever after. This offer that they want to make you is going to lead to this. You know, this is what they're thinking about with you. So what's this judgment reversed about? Why is judgment reversed over here? Thank you. Eight of Pentacles reversed. So they probably um, didn't put in enough effort. They probably had sloppy work, no focus. They were working, I, I just heard working on the wrong thing, okay? Judgment reverse, please, spirit. Four of swords, a lot of thinking. I feel like this person has done a lot of reflecting. No action as well. I feel like they didn't take the action that they should have taken at the time. Yeah, and I feel like this was somebody that they were foolish. They didn't think about where their choices would lead them with the full reverse. Full reverse is someone that's like naive, reckless, um, literally doesn't look where they're stepping. They also delay themselves. Why is this hermit over here for Gemini? Why are you thinking about the hermit? I feel like this is you thinking here, reflecting. You might be even dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, no, hangman, you're thinking. 
you're doing a lot of thinking. You're seeing things differently as well or gaining clarity, I feel, over something in the past. And I think this is why the signs are cautioning you, spirit being involved. Um, this is spiritual enlightenment with the hangman. I get one more for the hermit, please. I feel like, um, okay, I'm getting two things here. I feel like some of you were a little too protective of yourself, over yourselves. Um, you were probably a little too paranoid and you kind of, um, blocked this person or blocked yourself from this person. Um, for others of you, I feel like you're ready to give up, um, being like so resistant to this connection like maybe you've tried to forget this connection maybe you've tried to forget this person maybe you've tried to block this whole situation from your mind and your heart um maybe you've been resisting um anybody that even reminds you of this person um this is just things that messages that i'm getting i feel like this is something that you have realized over time was not, you weren't being true to yourself. Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. This is about something coming together in balance and harmony to very different things, blending together because someone has taken the time to make that work. I feel like this has been something that you've realized over time. Something to do with this person. Now, Gemini, I have you on this side and I have your person on this other side, but it can be flipped around um, if it resonates more for you. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's, let's keep going. What other information can we get here? Let's look at what is challenging this connection. What do we need to know? What Are there any hidden factors? What's the 411, right? <laughs> for Gemini, what's challenging or blocking this connection? What's challenging or blocking this connection between Gemini and this other person? The moon reverse and the sun. <laughs> okay. Literally something coming to the light here. I keep seeing that Hierophant as well. Challenges or blocks for Gemini and this person. Let me move this over. The challenges are the blocks. For November 2020 between Gemini and this other person that they're dealing with spirit the moon reverse I knew that that was important Pisces energy something coming to the surface something being seen clearly an illusion that has burst knight of cups holy crap okay knight of cups why is this a challenge or a block that's interesting the world reverse this wanted to come out as well six of ones okay so i feel like there's potential here for success what's at the bottom six of coin being on the same page is what i just heard immediately the minute i saw this this card um having the same uh, having this be an equal partnership where there's equal give and take you're both willing and able to give the same amount of energy and effort into something i feel like the fact that this hasn't happened yet is blocking this world from being upright, which we know from the previous spread, your person wants or you both want that. Now the moon reverse, this is interesting. I could definitely see why this is a challenge or a block. I feel like something hasn't come out to the surface in this connection. Maybe someone hasn't reached out to communicate something and I feel like it might be how they truly feel with the Knight of Cups. Maybe someone hasn't brought an apology that's needed. Um, let me clarify for Gemini, please. But I feel like this is, or something, maybe somebody caught the other person doing something. We'll see. Tell me about the moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse here? Wow, this is something to do about a soulmate connection, about a very important connection here with the two of cups. Tell me more about the moon reverse. Again with judgment reverse. Yeah, it's almost like, you know what I'm getting? It's like who um, whoever's judgment was blocked, which for me, I feel is your person. 
I feel like this has hit them in the face. Like it's been a punch, a punch to the gut. This 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 um, review of the past. It's like over time they've realized that maybe it wasn't the way that they thought it was. Maybe they actually had more to do with what happened than they originally thought, or something like that. The Empress reverse. I feel like um, this person. Actually, let me clarify that before I say that because this could mean a few things. Why is Empress Reverse? Why is the Empress Reverse? Knight of Wands Reverse, King of Pentacles Reverse. Okay, so this is somebody that I feel wasn't able to commit or give you commitment. This was not if you're if you're talk if you're like um the person that you're dealing with is someone you were like in a marriage with, I don't think this is your reading. Um, I feel like this person possibly even had someone else or, or chose someone else with the Queen of Pentacles reverse coming out here. King of Pentacles reverse. These two for me, um, typically they're already in a long-term commitment and they're not happy in it. Um, but I feel like this Emperor's reverse had to do with you. It, it's almost like something didn't grow. Maybe you figured out this person was married or already had another long-term commitment. Or maybe something happened where you realized that your the future that you imagined with this person was an illusion because they weren't on the same page. Why is the Knight of Cups a challenge or a block? Why is the Knight of Cups? Oh my gosh. Look at this. The moon reverse. Again. I feel like someone needs to apologize. I don't think that this is something expected. Yeah, for the third party. For whatever interfered in your connection. I feel like someone needs to talk about whatever interference got in the way. I feel like this is the way to like, it's like almost like, um, like breaking the ice. The fool again, like having a clean slate. And I have the Four of Swords reversed. This is about someone speaking up. Either speaking up to tell you, hey, you were the one all along, or speaking up to tell you, I want a new beginning with you, or I screwed up. We'll learn more about that in the extended because I'm going to be getting some information over there, but we'll see. Tell me about the world reverse. Someone needs to make a difficult decision in order for this world to be upright. A chapter needs to be closed. Someone needs to give up something. Tell me about the world reverse. Give up the fight. Maybe they're worn down. Tell me more about this world reverse. Wow. There could be even family issues or just delayed happiness. Someone's like, this is someone that's like drained, exhausted emotionally spent um there's been heartbreak and disappointment maybe they're thinking about a family situation but it's a difficult decision they're thinking about it it's causing some delays here let me see um what's going on here with the for this person let's see i'm using my uh secret moon oracle deck this will be available very soon on etsy my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. It's a physical deck. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini? What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini? I still check up on you. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini? I still check up on you. I can't let you go. What's this? I made a mistake. Well, yes. We we know that. I'm heartbroken at the bottom. I really feel like this person, again, it's like whatever judgment reverse situation they're going through, like where they've realized that they've screwed up <laughs> massively here. Um, I think they're starting to realize that they are not as blameless as they probably thought or maybe they screwed up more than they thought maybe for the longest time they chalked it up to oh i was young and stupid okay but 
you've had some sort of a loss since then. So what's the potential outcome for the near future? I'm going to be doing the potential outcome. I'll be pulling some cards here in this video. And then we're going to take this to the extended. I'm going to clarify the potential outcome there a little bit further. We're going to be looking at this person's true intentions. What are their next actions? And then we'll wrap it up with some advice from Spirit. Maybe we'll get some timing as well for Gemini and this person. What is the potential outcome in the near future? Potential outcome, please, for Gemini. The Empress Reverse. What's the potential outcome? The Empress Reverse is something that isn't growing or manifesting. Maybe it's not the right thing to grow or manifest at this time. Maybe it's the wrong investment. This could also be a jilted lover for me as a reader, as someone that was left behind. Wow, judgment upright. This is a new judgment call. A second chance, a rebirth, a resurrection. Another card that's very spiritual like in nature. Ace of coin reverse. Okay, so I still feel like there's going to be a loss, possibly financially. I have the seven of coin reverse. This is a bad, okay. I'm seeing so many things. Um, I want to, I can't wait to clarify this, but <laughs> what I'm seeing so far is like, I feel like in the future or in the near future here, there's going to be a serious awakening, a judgment call being made here with the judgment card upright. This is somebody that has evaluated the past and has learned from their mistakes and is now ready to start a new cycle. After judgment comes the world. However, <laughs> I also have an ace of coin reverse and empress reverse. So I'm seeing a few things here. This could be somebody that's divorcing, somebody that has some sort of a financial loss. This could be that someone's unable to offer you a serious commitment at this time because they're dealing with their first bad investment. Whatever they invested in before you or after you, whatever they've invested in, they have to let go of that before doing anything with you. And they know that, you know? Now with pay attention to the red flag, some of you Geminis do not believe that this person is just gonna cut this person, this other in, uh, interference off and just, you know, happily run down like a field with you you know it, this is going to be a lot more complicated so if they're telling you that oh it's not going to be hard i'll get it done i love you you know don't just take that with a grain of salt i don't think they're being deceptive on purpose i just don't think they realize that you know sometimes when we screw up and we invest in the wrong thing it takes a long time or it's definitely more there's more obstacles at play trying to fix that <laughs> or trying to close that chapter with every little thing closed you know you do not want to be with someone that's dragging their past behind them you know right into a new connection like that's never going to really go anywhere but that's what i see here i see some sort of like loss still happening for someone or commitment being broken here or it can be that someone is going to have some sort of financial difficulty you know however this judgment card is very important because i feel like this is going to be uh, the wake up uh, the wake up call that this connection needed all right gemini if it resonated with you please leave me a comment and let me know how the reading resonated i love hearing from you i can't get to every comment but i do read them all and if you'd like to support the channel for free please consider hitting the like button and subscribing thank you so much to everyone that has already done that i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in another video take care